a little bit more election news here. This is from Seawalk. Seawalk, thank you for sharing this. And this has something else to do with California and Kamala Harris. Check this out. Kamala Harris far behind in new California presidential poll. Uh, so there's Liz Warren and Kamala Harris. What do you think they're, what do you think they're looking at there? What do you think? <laughs> do you think that's a, that, that might be a truant child? And she's pointing to lock them up. And Liz Warren's like, what's going on? All right. Anyway, there's a virtual three-way tie in the democratic presidential race in California. New poll indicates, and the three candidates at the top don't include the state's junior senator, Kamala Harris. Maybe that's because the people in California know her history. <laughs> Maybe that's because they know that she's done nothing for the people of California other than put low-level drug offenders in jail. And she giggles about it. And then she doesn't offer uh, any prosecution to Steve Mnuchin. Maybe it's because people in California know that. Maybe that's why. Uh, all right, so it's looking like it's Warren, Biden, and Bernie Sanders. They're bunched at the top of a survey released Wednesday by the Nonpartisan Public Policy Institute of California. Harris is well back in fourth place at 8%, and Pete Booth is behind her at 6%. Among the uh, also rans, among the also rans, that's weird. I'm not sure I can't. Okay. Is San Francisco billionaire and former hedge fund manager Tom Steyer. He's at 1%. He bought his way into 1%. It's not the only way he's in the 1%, am I right? 1% in the polls, 1% as a person. That's that's Tom Steyer. He's knocking it out. Uh, I'm tweeting that right now. I'm going to tweet that right now. 1%. What, what should I say? Tom Steyer, 1% in the polls, 1% as a person. No, 1%. New campaign slogan. All right, cool. There, you're welcome, Tom Steyer. I should I should have him pay me for the opportunity. Hey, I, I just gave him a new campaign slogan. Tom Steyer, 1% in the polls, 1% as a person. I just tweeted that. If you don't mind, show that tweet some love. Show that tweet some love. So Kamala Harris. Now, I think that Kamala at first was the anointed one. I think that Kamala was the candidate that they wanted to anoint and shove down our throats. She started her campaign strong with that dumb Casio keyboard song. Uh, she talked about nothing on the campaign trail. Um, but I think she kind of sunk herself. She did not. I mean, she had a couple good showings in the debates, speaking strictly from a debate standpoint. I mean, everything that came out of her mouth were lies. But from a debate standpoint, she sounded nice. Uh, but then Tulsi Gabbard really handed her, uh, handed her head, so to speak. Tulsi Gabbard really went at her. And, uh, and that kind of stuck. And I think Kamala and people realized how much baggage she had, especially in her own home state. And if you can't really make waves in your home state, uh, you're kind of dead in the water, so to speak. I mean, when you look at the politicians that can't really even make waves in their own home state, uh, they are a special level of corrupt. They are a special level of just universally disliked. I mean, you know who else couldn't really make much weight in their home state? Tim Kaine. Tim Kaine barely got Virginia in the 2016 general. He barely got it. And the only reason they even got it was mostly because of Gary Johnson too. Because Gary Johnson took those votes away from Trump. Took those votes away from, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. And, and I think the fact that Kamala is doing so poorly uh, in her own home state. I mean, at one point, she was just behind Andrew Yang too. Like, they, like they talked about that, where it's like, it's her state. Andrew Yang's ahead of her. Uh, Pete Buttigieg is barely behind her. So I think Kamala is pretty much done. And I had thought that Kamala was the anointed one. I think at one point she was. Like, I think at one point Kamala was the anointed one they wanted. But as time went on, she just kind of sunk herself. And now I think Liz Warren has kind of moved into that anointed one spot. I think right now Liz Warren is the establishment's anointed one. That's who they want to be the nominee. Joe Biden kind of sunk himself. Kamala Harris kind of sunk herself. Uh, I think Liz Warren is the flavor of the week as of right now. Could it still change? Yeah, there's still time. But right now, I think Liz Warren is the one that they really want to uh, to put front and center. All right. So interesting, uh, interesting thing going on there in California. 
get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron.